Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Tori and today I'm going to be doing the why I haven't read these books yet tag. So everybody is doing this tag right now and I decided that I would jump on the bandwagon because it sounded like fun and it was a good opportunity for me to look through my shelves and figure out what books that I have been uh, kind of sitting in the back burner and not getting enough attention and that maybe I should kind of push toward my TBR a little bit more. The first category is a classic book that I have not read. Now, I'm gonna get in trouble with some fantasy fans here for admitting this. Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. Yes, I have never read the Lord of the Rings books. I grew up on the uh, film trilogy. It is near and dear to my heart. These characters I love, the story I love. I've read part of the Silmarillion, but not Lord of the Rings. I haven't even read The Hobbit, you guys. Like, feel free, I know, I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Here's the thing. I have started The Fellowship of the Ring at least three or four times in the last, like, 15 years. And I know that this is something that is very polarized even within the Lord of the Rings hardcore community, and that is every time I get to Tom Bombadil, I stop reading. I think one of the hardest moments of being pulled out of a story I have ever had in my life. Now, I recognize that being a child of the film trilogy, original trilogy, I probably don't have the appreciation of Tom Bombadil that I should have because I did not grow up with the book being read to me or reading it myself. So I really don't I don't care, and I feel horrible saying that only a little bit, because I know there are some other people out there that are hardcore Lord of the Rings fans that also are not fans of Tom Bombadil. My husband loves him. I just, it's just, I, I feel like I'm in a completely different book. It throws me out of the story every time. I put it down and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna come back to this later, and then I never do. So it is my goal in the next year or so here to actually get myself through the Lord of the Rings trilogy and just, you know what, truck through Tom Bombadil's weird little thing <laughs> in the middle of the first part of the book. So anyways, moving on to the next category, a fiction book. Now, obviously this means not fantasy. So what I picked for this is a book called Bel Canto by Anne Pratchett. This is a book that I was given by a friend of mine a little while ago that she had read and really enjoyed and she wanted me to try it. So this book I don't know much about. I know that it's literary fiction. I know that it has to do with hostages being held by terrorists and it's kind of a like uh, thriller, there's romance involved. I don't know much else about it besides that. It's definitely not something that I myself would choose to just pull off the shelf and read. But my friend and I often trade books back and forth to read and she was like, trust me, just read it. It's great. You'll love it. So I don't know. That remains to be seen. It's been on my TBR a couple of times. I haven't gotten around to it yet just because I'm such a fantasy head that like it's really hard for me to pull myself into literary fiction sometimes. Um, but I am looking forward to reading this and telling my friend that I finally got around to finishing it. All right, next up we have a nonfiction book. Now this, uh, for this category, I chose um, All the Gallant Men by Donald Stratton, who is a survivor of the USS Arizona, which was bombed during Pearl Harbor in 1941. And he has passed away in the last couple of years. Um, he's an incredible, incredible man. Uh, and I had bought this, which is his memoir of his experience as uh, living through Pearl Harbor and the Arizona and all of that. Um, and I'm just really, really excited. I love historical memoirs when they're well done. And I have heard from so many people that this is one of the best uh, World War II memoirs. Um, written by an American soldier, and so I'm very excited to delve into this and really um, be able to hear his story because he uh, is quite an incredible man, and I'm just very excited to read this. All right, for the next one, I'm going to pick a genre book, and that's a fantasy book on my TBR shelf, and I'm going to pick Wolf of the North by Duncan Hamilton. I actually read uh, his Dragon Slayer trilogy a couple of years ago. I was uh, lucky enough to get a hold of an arc for the third book in his trilogy for the Dragon Slayer. Um, 
and really enjoyed it. It's a French-inspired fantasy. I don't hear enough people talking about it on booktube. It definitely has its flaws, but there were a lot of things that I really enjoyed about it. So I think I'm going to revamp my review video of that series uh, pretty soon here on the channel uh, to kind of give you guys more of an insight into that series itself. But I was also able to chat with Duncan a little bit on Goodreads and we talked about self-publishing and a lot of other really fun bookish topics. And this was one of the series that he self-published prior to getting published with a traditional pu publisher. And this one, from what I understand, has a little bit more of a Nordic bent, um, and it is also the first book in a trilogy. So I've had this sitting on my TBR for quite a while, and I really need to get around to it, but I haven't yet. And I'm very excited to see what Duncan Hamilton does with a more Nordic-inspired fantasy world. So yeah, it should be a fun read. I just <laughs> really need to get around to it. Okay, last but not least, we have a book you've owned for the longest time but haven't read. Now, I could put Lord of the Rings here as well because obviously I've owned it for ages and ages, um, but I picked a different book that I bought quite a long time ago that I have not gotten around to, and that is the Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Now this book I have heard very mixed reviews on. I know a ton of people absolutely love this and that she's a very prolific female fantasy author, which I'm very excited to read. Um, to be honest, one of the reasons I haven't delved into this yet is because I'm a little intimidated by it. <laughs> I've heard um, quite a few people say that it's a little bit to get your brain around and, you know, I sometimes struggle with very complex, uh, put all the pieces together, the subtle pieces together uh, fantasy books. So I really am excited to read this and I've heard from so many people that it's an incredible payoff at the end of this uh, trilogy. I just honestly have been a little intimidated by it and I haven't officially committed to just getting myself into this book. All right, last of all, I need to tag three other booktube channels for this tag. I'm going to tag Matt's book reviews. So if he hasn't been tagged already, which I would be shocked by, I'm gonna tag Patrick Leo because I would love to know what his answers to this tag would be. And I'm also going to tag Library of a Viking. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I hope you're reading amazing books. I hope you're digging into your TBR and finding some books that might have a little bit of dust on them today. So have a great week and I will see you in the next video.